Hello and welcome to another Python Mathematics and Finance Indicators tutorial series. Uh, in this video, the next couple videos, we're going to be talking about the Commodity Channel Index, or CCI. The Commodity Channel Index was developed by Donald Lambert back in uh, the 1980s. The idea of the CCI is to measure deviations from a security's mean, uh, or average price basically, and it's going to act as an oscillator. And oftentimes it's going to be leading, but it's mostly there to indicate either overbought or oversold scenarios like our RSI and uh, some of the other ones that we've discussed. Also, uh, before we get into the calculation, CCI, despite its name, Commodity Channel Index, the CCI is really used uh, with anything. It doesn't have to be commodities. It can be uh, stocks, forex, etc. So the calculation of our uh, Commodity Channel Index, or CCI, is going to be TP, and TP is going to equal typical price. And typical price is the high plus the low plus the close divided by three, so kind of like an average of those three numbers. Then it's going to be minus the a simple moving average of that typical price, and the time frame for that simple moving average uh, is at your discretion. Then uh, that top part of this fraction is going to be divided by um, usually people use a 0 0.015 multiplied by the mean deviation um, but again you can kind of uh, play with this number as well as obviously the time frame number so let's go ahead and get into some examples before we start actually programming this so let me bring up uh, our example chart here so this is our charting application. If you want to know how to make it, check out our Python charting stocks tutorial series. Otherwise, um, so here is Apple, or not Apple, <laughs> eBay. Mm, and I'm failing it, fitting it. Here we go. So this bottom one here is our CCI. Uh, generally, if it's above the 100 mark, that would consider it uh, overbought. And if it's below the 100 mark, oversold. Uh, but also, you can just see that many times it is indeed a leading indicator. As you can see here, it starts going down really before this one actually started going down. Uh, then again, same thing here. It starts warning about the, you know, the decline pretty well in advance there. Again, here, um, and so on. So anyways, uh, not only can you use it for just overbought and oversold, you can almost use it for trending. Uh, especially if you uh, supplied a simple moving average of the CCI line. So that's kind of a um, repeating uh, thread across a lot of these oscillators is you can throw on a simple moving average of this line and then you can actually turn it into a sig signal line for trend changes, not just overbought and oversold uh, scenarios. So anyways, uh, definitely an interesting oscillator. Um, so now let's go ahead and in the next video, what we're going to be doing is actually programming this oscillator into Python. And the video after that will actually chart it up uh, just like this chart is. So uh, anyway, stay tuned for those videos. As always, thanks for watching.